Hello, friends. It's auction preview time. You see my eyes here? I think I got the light set up wrong. But it's a bad hair day, so I'm wearing the hat, and I'm going with it. So we got a really um, a fun bunch of um, 30 different items. I think one has already on the buy now sold, which is the little feather um, pendant piece. And actually, we do have two of them. If somebody wants that, private message us. Thanks, and that's better. Cindy, I... Are you Thank up? you, Cindy. Yes, much better. And I can see under my hat. So let's uh, whip through uh, and see what we got here today. I think actually this is number one item. It's um, one of my custom uh, cup designs where I started the business eight and a half, nine years ago. And this is the single stone one. On, this is a dyed um, hide. And really a pretty, pretty, pretty stone. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That's going to fit a wrist that is i'm going to say six and a half up to seven and a half okay so fits beautifully right on the wrist it's a great statement piece and it will go with everything because it's black and white and taupes and neutrals so a gorgeous really pretty stone this is actually uh the piece that did the buy now that one is sold i do have another but once it's sold off the auction we can't re-put another one on without adding another item and that takes us on to page two, and we're not going to do that. So if anybody wants another feather pendant, what you'll need to do is just private message us and just say, I want the other feather pendant, and we have that. And by now, down it is $125. This is um, one of our awesome custom pieces in a longer hair, uh, cowhide, so hair on, on a beautiful brown tone leather. with It's got an unnatural or a very, uh, what do I want to say, uneven edged cut, which I love about it. It moves a little bit. It's got two size adjustments and it has that beautiful turquoise um, and matrix uh, colored stone. Very, very pretty. And it's about three inches wide. This and I know there's a ring that matches. Ah, here we go. So these two pieces are on. This is on the front part of the auction. This is on the back part of the auction. So this is ammonite and then there's various uh, sapphires. There's uh, smoky quartz. Um, there is pyrite on the pendant and then pyrite and uh, a sapphire there as well, but a really beautiful set. If you wanted to wear it as a set, let me show you up that closer. And this is a pyritized ammonite. So it's an ancient sea creature uh, that was uh, basically petrified into the stone, but pyrite is the stone makeup uh, that it, this particular one formed in. They're all, there's many of them that are different. Sometimes it's a brown stone and it's, so at any rate, those are both beautiful pieces. And if you had either a Navajo pearl or a nice silver chain, um, that this would go on. And tomorrow night we're doing back road treasures and it's a whole bunch. It's 80 some pieces of great neck pieces. There's a couple of perfect silver neck pieces in there. Not Navajo pearls, but silver neck pieces that would go beautiful with that. And this is a beautiful, native uh, done earring really nice long pieces look what a great statement that is how fun for summer very very pretty this is um, an awesome silver tone chain it is not sterling but it is guaranteed uh, to not tarnish it's a nice quality it's from the Sabika brand um, which is the brand that we do that is the crystals and it's a nice nice beefy one it's got um, a really pretty uh, silver pop and color you could actually hook um, different things onto it. You could actually put a pendant on it too. It would take about a 10 to 12 mil, uh, millimeter uh, bale, but that would be a really pretty piece. This is a great set that's sold separately, but it, it, it uh, matches up beautifully. It's in the brown and the green tone turquoise, a little bit of blue, lots of beautiful Navajo pearls. We do these in-house. reason we do them in-house is I was looking for that kind of an item in market. Nobody had it. So we sourced uh, the turquoise, the disc turquoise, uh, the Navajo pearls, the sterling earrings, the finishing clips, all that. And we now make a lot of this kind of uh, pieces in-house. So under our Stone Feather Road brand and label. This is a beautiful, it's a heavier sterling, quite a lot of sterling on this. And just a beautiful, simple, fits right in the wrist. It's gonna fit a lot of sizes. I'm a six and a half, fits mine perfect. Um, it'll fit down to a six easily, and you can pop that up to a seven and a half, possibly even an eight. When you pop up, you could either call me and I'll show you uh, visually on a FaceTime how to do it, but you always wanna protect and hold 
on anything that you're doing and do it very slowly and pull from here, but protect this part down here. You don't want to pop that stone, which is bezeled in to that, but you can pop that up, pop that up, and you can give yourself some more room in that kind of a bracelet. Same with this one, easy to adjust. That's a sweet little piece. I actually quite love this one. Look how sweet is that? Love that. I'm gonna just stack them on, because why not? More is better. Here's another one that is, um, so this one, easy, easy to adjust. Clear up here, you can adjust it down. This is all hand wired wrap. There's a group uh, that does this. Um, it's, it's artisan made, it's here in the United States. And it's beautiful. Look at the beautiful copper and uh, silver work on that. And a really comfortable piece because of the fact that you can tighten it up to wear. It's like so, beautiful. The copper can't hurt for just, you know, joints. I don't know that that has that kind of a, of a potential, but I know copper bracelets um, help alleviate pain in your wrists and hands. So it might have a little bit of that kind of a, a bent to it as well. This is an older vintage ring. It's a very sweet one. It's in mother of pearl and coral. And it is a tiny little one. It is a size four and a half, like a baby ring. It'd be, actually be cute on a little girl. Very, very sweet, or if you have tiny, tiny fingers. That's a pretty one, and it, again, it's an older piece, very sweet. These are compressed turquoise and spiny oyster earrings. And this one is topped with a copper bead. And so these are real pretty on. They just give that nice linear, beautiful. They got some motion at the ear, all nice. Here is, this has been a famous bracelet uh, that we've done for, oh gosh, six, seven months now and it is turquoise and it is, uh, I have to pose for Cindy's picture because you know what happens. When we run the videos, um, Facebook will pick the ugliest picture of me on the video. <laughs> and when we go to post it, that'll be the picture. And I'm like, Cindy, we've got to be able to get a better picture than this. So she runs her fingers into the research and figures out how to do that. That one didn't work, so one more please. Perfect. Okay, that'll be the picture now you'll yeah. see. <laughs> Instead of one that's like, yeah, when I'm in mid-talk, and that's what they post. So at any rate, a little humor. This one is a great um, stackable. We'll just keep adding on here, but how fun is that? It's got some elastic. Great colors of blue turquoise and green turquoise. You're kind of serving both uh, colors in the turquoise family there that would be beautiful just to layer in accent earrings or, ne or necklaces. These are not on the auction, but are these gorgeous? Two separate ones. I love these. This one I just picked up um, uh, from a, a vintage um, connection. And then this one we've had uh, for a little bit in the collection, not long, but uh, I don't think we've I don't think we've run it ever back road treasures or anything. So it's in the it's in the regular collection, but pretty. All right. This is a Swarovski. It's a beautiful little cornflower blue and you've got clear crystals and you've got kind of some rainbowed crystals. These are really sweet and you can actually, this would be a great denim piece for summer. Look how pretty that is layered in with just my silver pieces. I think these are awesome. I have a, a collection of these myself and I layer them in. Cindy has one on today. She has her uh, a neck piece on with her uh, Navajo pearls and hers is um, I think in uh, blue or green crystals. But this is a really pretty one and it would be just sweet worn at the wrist, kind of for just a day-to-day -day wearing. Uh, this is, Cindy, did we price the um, the the uh, choker and the little petal together? I think we did. Yeah. So this is a set. Okay, so this one is an actual set. We're selling it as a set. So it's got the beautiful little petal floret, uh, flower petal that you would typically see off of like a squash blossom. So the little flowers that come off and all the way up the neck here. And this um, has been done on a nice size bale. You could actually put it on your larger Navajo pearls as well, but it's a really sweet um, statement piece. This one's gonna hit choker length, so it's gonna hit up here. And just a really clean, beautiful, unobstructed, just very, very nice, 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 nice look. And that's a, uh, that's a 16 inch necklace. Okay. This one is, is it the same? This one is 18, I believe. So this one is 18, and it's got the retired Indian coin. That's just a really pretty day-to-day -day piece to wear, especially if you want to combine 
kind of that whole silver and gold uh, type of look. This is more of a bronze, but kind of a gold bronzed. Yeah, it's actually more of a gold, really. And it's just a really pretty, simple statement piece as a neck piece. Love that. Here is another of those gorgeous, if you have green eyes, this one would be a home run. So it's that beautiful Swarovski crystal, so quite large one. And it's just gonna hit beautifully right in the neckline, like so. Isn't that pretty? So again, if you have green eyes, it's a, it'll pick up to you just like that. And this one is, okay, I have, oh, there it is, I was saying, I have tape measure problems, but here it is. We started out, I think, six months ago with three or four tape measures, and a, a soft ones and hard ones both, and we are now down to a pink one. 14, 15, 15 inches approximately. And then there is another three inches. So you can go up to 18, 15 to 18 inches on the sweet little green crystal. Very pretty. Here is, for those of you that are a little bit more of a minimalist, but you still want a little bit of color, here's a little teardrop in the spiny oyster. It's native made. It's sterling silver uh, roped around the edge bezeled. Just a real sweet piece and it's in a, a post, a nice post. This one is a longer loop be pretty with this great vest. You love this vest? This is awesome. We just started testing these. They've sold very, very well already. We'll be carrying them on into fall. But this is, um, look at the beautiful colors. You've got lapis and turquoise and all the spinies and there's some brown tones in there. Just a whole myriad of color and motion. I love that earring. This one is a red, uh, it's a post earring um, and it's a red, core, uh, red spiny oyster rather. Great piece. And again, even with this outfit, this would be pretty. See how pretty that just, it pops. Earrings matter, they just do. Earrings matter. Lots of things matter. Here is a dot and cross ring, which is gorgeous. It's a comfortable ring to wear. And this one, let's see if I can find a size on it here. Nope. So the size on this sweet little piece is a seven, about a seven and a quarter seven and a half push maybe, but beautifully done, real clean. When I say clean, it just means like classic, timeless, easy to wear with other things. And then this is a vintage piece. This is a mother of pearl and it is um, a little flower uh, em embellishment here in two different colors of turquoise. And then the stem of it is actually set into the mother of pearl in sterling. Isn't that a sweet, beautiful piece? Really, really pretty. And the size on this one is a five and five and three quarters, almost a six. So that's a sweet piece. Um, then we have this beautiful uh, silver fox fur bag. It's got some fringe off the bottom. Here is the drop-in for it. It'll hold your phone, some keys. It's not real big, but it's a really sweet one that you could wear as a hipster and tie the leather around your hip as a shoulder bag, or you could cross-body it. And then you just have it tied off there. Nice little leather. Very pretty. This is a hand-done wallet. This has all been handmade uh, by a local artist who does uh, some gorgeous bags for us. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, five different um, slot ins for credit cards and ID, things like that. And then for your bills or your receipts or whatever it is you want. Leather is um, really beautiful quality. It's just a really nice and well done hand sewn. I don't know how he does that, but it's hand sewn. He doesn't have it. He sold his machine. So he punches everything. I think I need to get him a machine. I'm sure his hands hurt. Okay, and this is another bag that this gentleman has made for us. Um, we did it in a multitude of colors. We did. We love this light colored, um, no, the neutral, then with the cognac uh, contrast. And it's a sweet little just shoulder bag. You can go up and over, just like so, or you can just do it as a, a bag um, on your, just on your shoulder as well. And then it's got a little cinch here, so it just cinches up. So just that bag that's just the easy one to carry in and out of the grocery store. If 
you're somewhere and you want to be hands-free you're on a walk it's a great piece to just put up and over your shoulder and away you go this is um, a bag we won't uh, ever do again and so I think we might even be down to the last one on it I actually have one I have the original prototype which isn't as nice as these and I used it this weekend I was traveling I was in Dallas for the weekend and I get so many compliments in the airport uh, but the cost on this it was a very very exp expensive bag to make um, but I had so many requests for a slingback or a backpack we finally had done one it also has a conceal carry option so it has a, a quiet little pocket back here it has a little um, velcro holster for conceal carry so it's it's a it's a unisex bag men can use it women can use it um, I often as I'm traveling I use it as a kind of a sling bag a lot of times over the front um, and this weekend I was kind of wearing it slung and over my left hip for I don't know what reason it just happened to feel right that day uh, but it's also got a zipper in the front for your phone and so the zipper um, closes the one I have the original prototype we didn't put a pocket in it so my phone had to go on the inside uh, but this one's nice this is really a great bag it's got you can access the back conceal carry you could either put you know like your wallet back there or passport if you're traveling certainly conceal carry um, you can enter it from either side so depending if you're right entering or your left entering um, and just a real versatile bag you can swing this hook here depending if you're left carrying or right carry meaning left to right hip left shoulder to right hip or right shoulder to left hip then you can swing this back and forth or you can center it so a ton of R&D <laughs> This bag, I assure you, I never made a dime on. <laughs> I paid a big, big fee to have it made. We worked on it, worked on it, worked on it. It's a great design. It just, um, pound for pound, unless I send it to China to have them do it, which I won't, um, then we could get it to be a very affordable bag. So it's the end of um, the slingback, the backpack one that we're gonna do if you wanna pick one up. it's done. This one's really nice because it's done in the black and white salt and pepper. Great bag really quality excellent you'll have it forever I promise that okay and then we have um, a new collection of blankets um, if you've been watching us for the last month or so or maybe even two months because we had them in um, San Antonio we had the beautiful menswear fleece shirts in these kind of prints which women were buying also it's a kind of a swing it's a swing product for us it goes either way but um, they offered uh, blankets as well and so we bought their yummy blankets and the blankets retail at 75 they're worth it it's a great lap blanket um, the quality is excellent they're made in the United States we love that and they come in a couple of different colors that we have acquired so far so these are just two of them I think we acquired four so far we decided to feature two of them on the auction and let you take a swing at those as a great it's a great gift for 75 bucks at the buy now price even it's a great um, a great item okay I always miss a piece did I miss any let me see quick 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 last week I missed a cuff I didn't miss any <laughs> until I get off all right so a lot going on this week we have the auction on Sunday night wrapping up at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, if you have not already joined our um, text alert system Cindy will post that later um, underneath this in our comments area and send um, auction the word auction to the number that she's going to provide there and that will put you on our alert system so on a Sunday night um, everybody is in that wind down or I think everybody is kind of a wind down getting ready for the new week to start relaxing and it's easy to forget that we're five at eight o'clock so unless you set your alarm to us and I know some people do uh, but we do a 15 minute um, reminder right before the auction so you can jump on check your bids jump on make a bid uh, jump on and watch whatever you want to do uh, it takes about 40 45 50 minutes for the auction to wrap up the items wrap up in two minute intervals so we'll start with item number one and the bidding you know can continue on up until the last seconds of that item closing if another bid comes in in the last seconds two to three minutes will be automatically added onto that item and the bidding continues just like a real auction the the gavel the auctioneer is going and going once going twice and somebody goes and they go and they up the bid okay so that's how it works only it's virtually and it's pretty amazing the software is pretty amazing it's pretty amazing that um, we were able to um, inlay it into our website and actually have uh, have it uh, work that way we're toying with we're, we're toying with um, 
doing some auction pieces on apparel, which you might see this coming week. Um, haven't decided exactly how we're gonna do that, but you know us, we like to change it up and we must continue to change it up. So the auction is on Sunday. Uh, tomorrow night is Backroad Treasures. We'll have over 80 items um, that we're gonna to feature tomorrow night. Some really great, beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, some of you may have seen before, a lot of them you will have not seen, um, but it's a fun auction and it's live and it is hosted on our two Facebook pages, so Stonefeather Road and Stonefeather Roadsters. We host it concurrently. You claim pieces in our software program, which is called um, Comment Sold, and you can buy right on the spot. And it's important um, to do that if you want a piece because otherwise somebody else can say sold number 105 and it's gone. And so there's little mini battles that happen uh, quite regularly on that, it's quite fun and um, we have a lot of fun doing it we'll you'll hear me for two hours i look in you know i look back at the camera and i go oh dear lord when is she going to be quiet but i won't be quiet until we've gone through all of the items so that's tomorrow night that'll start at 6 p.m okay 6 p.m will run to approximately 8 8 30 and then that'll wrap up hopefully by 8 we'll be wrapped up um and again you can buy virtually uh you get to the end of the show you go to your cart and check out and run your credit card through we ship it out the next day um, if you have not already registered, make sure in the register process that you hook up your messenger. So it's your Facebook messenger. You don't have to do anything special other than it will prompt you and ask you for permission to hook to your, red, your messenger and you would need to reply yes. It's completely safe. Um, what that does though is allows our system to talk to you and for you to be able to add things to your cart. That's the only way to buy on that scenario unless next day you call us and we still have items left. We certainly can invoice you separately. I'm happy to do that through our, our regular point of sale. Um, and then on Thursday night, if you're local, we have um, Girls Night Out Glam and Glitz. So we're gonna be doing, hello ladies. We're gonna be doing a photo shoot uh, for everybody that comes in and we're gonna send you a cool little photo of you and your friends or you if you're solo or you and bring bring your husband your partner we bring everybody we don't care anybody and we'll take a photo shoot we might dress you up um and we're gonna have some fun on glam and glitz night and the whole downtown will be rocking that night till 8 30. it's a it's called traditionally girls night out we do not exclude boys out you know so girls and boys or men and women um or whoever wants to come out and shop we're going to be open period <laughs> And that will be a lot of fun, and that's on Thursday night. So um, those of you that are out of town and still within an hour or two, come for a fun night, have some dinner out in um, Cedar Falls, shop early, dinner late, and um, make, it a, make it an outing, make it an evening, make it fun. It's time we all bust out. Uh, and with that, have an awesome day. Happy day, happy dancing, you know. Send me a picture of you dancing. I would love that. All right, friends, we'll see you soon.